Hey, it's Nathan with crazyeyemarketing.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a countdown event within your ClickFunnels 2.0 account. Now, a countdown event is basically like a deadline funnel. And so this would be like an evergreen funnel where people opt in and depending on when they opted in, they'll be given like a time frame, like three days, for example, in order to go ahead and buy a product or a service or some sort of promotional offer at like a discounted rate or something like that. So basically it automates like a sense of urgency and can hopefully increase your conversion rates. And it's all included within your ClickFunnels account. Like you don't need to buy this deadline funnel thing. You can just use ClickFunnels in order to go ahead and do everything that you need. So let's go ahead and get started. So we have marketing right here and we see countdown timers and countdown events. We'll go ahead and start with a countdown event first and then we'll go ahead and add a new countdown event. And in this case, let's say that we want to offer one of our courses on sale. So mega course sale. And then we have a couple options here. We could do a one-time event, a recurring, which is basically the deadline funnel concept. And so this would be unique to every single individual that enters the event. Or you could also do a hybrid, which is basically like it starts and ends on certain days of the week. We're gonna go ahead and do a recurring one because I think that this is the most sought after event type. So we have recurrence interval and I'm gonna do three days. So this basically gives people three days to go and buy the course at a mega discount. And then we can also allow people to re-register after X number of days. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in 30 days. So after 30 days, they could go back through and we could offer this type of discount to them again. We'll go ahead and create the countdown event now. And now it's saying that I don't have any countdown timers configured. So I need to come over to countdown timers and we need to create a countdown timer. And there's several templates to go ahead and choose from. And we could also come up with a name right here. So I'm gonna say course mega sale. And we can just select one. We'll select this one right here and create countdown timer. And there's several details right here. So we can make sure that's enabled for one. We could change the font size and some of the colors, leading zeros, labels, and background and expiration and so on. So several different options we could go ahead and adjust, but I'm just gonna go ahead and click on update countdown timer because it's good enough for what I'm trying to do. So now we have an event set up and we also have a timer so we could include that in our emails. What we want to go ahead and do next is create a way for somebody to basically initiate the event. And the best way to do that is to come and create a funnel. And I'm gonna create a brand new funnel so you're seeing it from scratch. Hopefully that'll help you understand the entire concept. And I'm gonna go ahead and just do a lead gen funnel, one of the pre-built ones that ClickFunnels has. And it's just a squeeze page and a thank you page. And it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna select a random template and I'm gonna go ahead and customize it right now. And so we have the squeeze page right here and we have our thank you page right here. What I wanna go ahead and do though, is I wanna go ahead and connect an event to this thank you page. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this menu and then I want to go ahead and select manage events. And then I wanna go ahead and select calendar event right here. And I have my mega course sale. And if somebody lands on this page and they're not currently registered for my event, I want to go ahead and register the visitor on the page view. So I'll click that option. And if they happen to land on this page past the deadline, I could go ahead and send them to another page. So for example, the page I'm gonna have right here may have a countdown timer and a link to my course mega sale. However, if they land on it and it's already expired, well then I could send them to another thank you page that doesn't have a countdown timer and it doesn't link over to my course mega sales. So that's how you could go ahead and use this feature right here. But I'm gonna go ahead and click on attach now. Now a couple icons popped up so you can see that I have an event now, my mega course sale. And also I have a little warning message. So this step has a calendar event attached that it's not set up to display. So I need to go ahead and edit my page and we're gonna add, add a countdown timer to my page so that way people can see that, hey, there's a special deal going on and you probably wanna go over and buy that special deal. So I'm adding a new element and I wanna look for count countdown right here. And then we can go ahead and click on the countdown timer. And this is a calendar event. So we'll go ahead and click that. Now there's a bunch of different options and things that you could go ahead and change here. And it's all reasonably self-explanatory, so I'm not gonna cover it in this particular video. But the main thing is you wanna make sure that you select the calendar event as the timer type. If you select countdown or evergreen, it's not going to sync with your particular calendar event. And that's the whole point of doing this thing. 
So we have that, and then I wanna go ahead and add, well, let me just drag this button up here, and I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this text right here and drag it down. And we're gonna try and make something make some sense here. And we'll go ahead and delete these, this row out of here. And I accidentally deleted my button, so I'll go ahead and add another button to my page. And so this is my countdown timer. So super mega sale expires. And we'll drag this down underneath this. And I'll go down here to my button. And I'm going to need to change it up. So click to go to mega sale. And I'm gonna to need to change my on click actions in a minute so that it takes people to my sales page. So we'll have to come back here, but you get the idea. They opt in and land on this thank you page. And it shows that there's a super mega sale that expires in this set time, which will be three days. And then I click here to go to my mega sale. And we'll go ahead and click on save. And then we'll go ahead and back out of here. And we'll back out again. So now I wanna create another place for somebody to go ahead and buy my super mega sale products. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a funnel. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on this cart funnel here and use one of their pre-built templates. So we'll just go with this one right here. And we'll go ahead and customize now. So this is an order form page right here. And I wanna go ahead and add a product to it. So people can go ahead and buy my super mega course. And we'll go ahead and throw in my ClickFunnels 2.0 course right there as the product. And then what I wanna go ahead and do is also associate my event with this particular page. So I'm gonna click right here and manage events. And I'm going to sync it to my mega course sale event. And if somebody lands on this page but is not registered for my event, I need to go ahead and select an action. And what I wanna do is redirect to a different URL. So I'll click that option. So if they're not registered for this particular event, I gotta send them somewhere else. So I might send them over to my lead magnet funnel that initiates the event, right? So I have this event right here. I'll go ahead and get the URL for this funnel. So my lead magnet funnel, copy that URL, and we'll go ahead and paste it in here. And then if they land on this page, but they're past the deadline, well then I need to go ahead and direct them to the sales page that's selling my ClickFunnels 2.0 course at full price because they missed the super mega sale. So I'd come back out here and grab the link to my funnel. So my full sales funnel right here. And I'd go ahead and copy this and come back to my funnel. So if they're past the deadline, it will send them to my full priced course. I will go ahead and attach. And now you can see I have three icons showing up. So this page is associated with an event. There's an error, which means that I have to go ahead and add a timer to my page. And then there's also a product associated with this page too. So let's go ahead and edit this page real quick and we can go ahead and add our timer to it. So come on in here and we'll go ahead and add an element. And we have count, countdown, countdown. And we'll click on it and go into the settings. And again, we wanna make sure that this is a calendar event. So select calendar event and you can mess with this stuff to your heart's content, but we're gonna leave it like it is. And we'll click on save. And then we're gonna go ahead and back out of here. And I could go ahead and update my one-time offer and my order confirmation page as well, but it's not real important. The more important page is the initial order form page as that's where the timer is showing. And if they come here after the timer expires, well then they'll be redirected to the full price page. So let's come back out real quick. And the next thing we probably wanna go ahead and do is set up some emails that send people to my super mega discount sales funnel page that we just created. So let's come back to the lead magnet page and we gotta set up an automation or a workflow here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this little lightning bolt and we'll go ahead and create a brand new workflow and this will be the name of it. So deliver lead magnet plus promote mega sale. And then for the event type, we're gonna go ahead and start this when they opt in for the lead magnet. And we'll go ahead and create that workflow. And so I'm gonna go ahead and click this plus button so I can go ahead and add an email to send. And I'll go ahead and use my template right here. I can go ahead and assign a subject line. So lead mag Knit plus super awesome deal. Open this email to unlock a mega discount. Now that would definitely wind up in a spam folder, so that's not good copy, but you get the idea. 
And then I'd go ahead and select what email address to send it from, and I'd go ahead and create it. And now I have a little warning message because I have not actually configured my email yet, so I'll open that up. And so here's my email. So of course I would go ahead and say, click here to download the lead magnet. And I could go ahead and link this on up. So I'll just put a pound sign or hashtag right there. And then I'm gonna say, additionally get a mega discount on my ClickFunnels 2.0 course, course. And I'm gonna go ahead and clone that real quick and delete this out of here. And then I need to go ahead and I wanna add a timer to this email. So I'm gonna come out here and back out. And now I'm going to go to my marketing area and my countdown events. And I'm gonna click into my mega course sale. And I can see right here that I have an email embed code. So I'm gonna go ahead and click to copy that and then come back over here. And then I want to add content and HTML. We'll drag it over here and click on it. And we can go ahead and plug in that HTML that we just got from here and we plug it in here and it's going to wind up showing a timer. Now it doesn't show a timer right now because you might notice that there's a merge tag in here that has contact ID. So once the email sends, it'll automatically fill this information in which will generate the timer for us. So even though you don't see it in the little preview here, it doesn't mean that it's not going to work. So we'll close out of here and then I wanna go ahead and change this content real quick and I'll move my button up real quick underneath my timer and we can change it to go by the course and i need to make sure i link this button to the appropriate sales page so let's come back to my funnels and i have my funnel right here and i'm going to go ahead and grab this link at the top and then i'll come back over here and i'll link my button up here so open this web page just like that and then we can go ahead and have my signature block there and so I think that looks great. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit publish and then we will back out of here and I wanna come down here and I can go ahead and add a delay. So remember that my event is three days long so I don't wanna have too long of a delay. So maybe I'll wait one day for, for this first and second email. So we'll do one day and then I could go ahead and send us another email and I could include that timer again and it will have count, counted down 24 hours since this first email went out. So I can go ahead and build out a workflow right here, but I'm gonna leave it as it is and we're gonna go ahead and turn this automation workflow on. So we'll go ahead and enable it. And then we're gonna go ahead and back out of here and back out of here and everything should be live and ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the link to my lead magnet page and we'll go ahead and copy the URL. I'm gonna go ahead and open a new incognito window and we're gonna go ahead and test this thing out so you can see where the timers are and how they all work and stuff like that. And it looks like something already is cached in my browser so I'm gonna go ahead and clear my browsing data and we'll do it again real quick. So load this up and I need to go ahead and add an email address and opt in. And upon opting in, I should land on that thank you page and that should sign me up for the event and start the countdown timer. So I can see right here, my super mega sale expires in 71 hours, 59 minutes and 52 seconds. And I could click here to go to my mega sale page, but I forgot to link that back up. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. We'll come down to this page, click on edit, and then come over here and grab the link to my sales funnel for the super mega discount. So click on that and we want to go to custom URL, this page right here, and then we'll click out of it and we'll go ahead and save and then we can minimize and then we can go back to our funnel. And I also wanna go ahead and check my email as well. I should have received an email. And so here's the email that I just received and you can see that the timer in my email is the same timer that is on this page. Well, it's a little bit off for some reason that I can't quite explain, but it's only a few seconds off. But in my email, I could go ahead and click on go buy the course. So I'm actually gonna copy this link and then we'll go ahead and go over here. And I should see the same timer on my order form page. So 71 hours, 57, 57. And so it's the same timer across all the different pages. So my thank you page, my order form page, 
and my email, even though my email is a little faster or slower. Yeah, I guess it's slower, but hopefully you're getting the idea of how it all works. And you may have to watch this video a couple times to completely wrap your head around this concept because there are a lot of moving parts. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and or please head over to crazyoutmarketing.com for more marketing training. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.